Dear colleagues, let us start now. Now we will proceed to a press briefing de devoted to the Radia Park. I'd like to introduce the representative of the project uh, team of experts that are directly involved in the project planning, Mr. Sergei Kuznetsov, Chief Architect of Moscow and Artistic Director of Park the Radia Project, Charles Renfro, partner of Dealers Cafidio plus Renfro, consortium leaders, winning the contest, and they are still working on the project. Mary Margaret Jones, who is a partner from Hargreaves Associates, our landscape designer, and we are also glad to welcome Mr. Anthony Vivas and uh, E. Thomas, who is a big expert as for urban management, a political activist, deputy mayor of Barcelona, and the one who was directly involved in the project uh, as well. He was one of the active members of jury of the jury. My name is Peter Kudryavtsev, uh, Director General of uh, City Makers Russia, consortium which uh, planned this park and uh, this session's moderator. Now I'd like to give the floor to Sergei Kuznetsov so that he could briefly introduce the current state of affairs. Good morning, dear friends. First of all, uh, let me apologize for the late uh, beginning of this session because the plenary took more time than uh, planned. I hope that we'll have the time to to make it. What could we say? Our Zaradia Park is the most central site of the city. At the Urban Forum, our central topic is um, the Moskva River, its development, and Zaradia is, rep is presented at the uh, in the mayor's uh, program. We've also already said that it's a certain point of attraction not only for urban residents who circulate across the city on transport and on food, but for those who are uh, cruising the river. So it's a, uni it's a universal center of attraction on the crossroads of different tourist activities and routes passing through Moscow. As for today, we are currently at the stage of active project planning. We have already implemented the first stage, which is the underground facilities. This November, we are starting to build the embankment. Until the end of the navigation on the Moskva River, we are testing the equipment, so we are preparing everything for the winter uh, absence of, nav of navigation. We, are, we will continue to work on the embank embankment design. Uh, let uh, me refresh in your memory what is the current state of affairs in the park. Perhaps you remember that uh, the president of our country and the mayor of Moscow decided to replace uh, the destroyed um, Moskva Hotel by a park area named Zaradia. Mm -hmm. And since, that, uh, since then, we have organized a contest, an international contest, which ended in uh, 2013. So we are still working on uh, the Zaradia project which w uh, that we call Green Heart of Moscow. It's a slogan which fully reflects uh, the importance of this project for the city. Uh, I think that mm -hmm. we should go a bit quicker and you will be able to see all the materials at our booth as well. We will give a big picture now. You see the pictures, these are not um, mere pictures, this is a 3D model and we are also exhibiting a mock-up of this project which shows how the park will finally look and uh, there are elements such as Philharmonic's flyover bridge, the embankment and other elements of this park including also a hotel complex that will be located uh, at the place of uh, building at the address Varvarka 14. Actually, we consider that the Ratia Park will be in the heart of the tourist path of Moscow, and those who come to the city will be able to get acquainted with the city starting from the Zaradia Park. We have the most active tourist paths that go through the park, and their number will increase. The park will feature a number of interesting objects. I will not mention all of them. You can see all of them on the slide, and we issued a brochure in your book about the park and it gathers all the information and you can find it easily on the forum and the book is dedicated to all the park objects and I'm sure they will be very entertaining and interesting. 
the acquaintance with Moscow, the information center, all the interesting things that had happened in Moscow, an excursion into the city history, the media installation, the media center, all of these will be the elements of the park. We also have uh, the so-called information dome, uh, which uh, speaks about the park construction and uh, the information will be constantly updated. The city panoramic view is not a virtual thing but a real one. The park will feature the best views over Moscow and so far no one has seen them because for the first time in Moscow history this part of the city will not be built up but will be an observation deck and uh, there will be a view over the Kremlin, over St. Basil's Cathedral and I think that uh, anyone who goes there will be able to make very nice pictures. The wild urbanism is uh, a concept that is currently implemented within the framework of this project and my partners will probably speak about it more in detail. It is about introducing active landscape taking into account the peculiarities of Russia's climate. There is also the non-prescriptive navigation that intuitively says where is it it is better to go where it is better to lie on the ground or 